Okay, we're back. Day three, final day of SAP Sapphire. This is uh, Cube, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events and talk to the thought leaders, experts, analysts, entrepreneurs, anyone we can find that has knowledge to share. We'll extract that signal from the noise and share that with you. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, and we're in Orlando, Florida, where this is day three of SAP Sapphire Now 2012, where SAP powering business, really the consumerization of IT, the consumerization of business, is really the heart of the conversation. Um, and as you know from SiliconAngle.com's core editorial, we've been doing cloud, mobile, and social for three years and uh, proud of it. And nothing more um, exciting than to be at Sapphire and talk about the convergence of cloud, mobile, and data, or social, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to talk about mobile uh, with my guest, uh, Chris Hazelton. Chris, welcome to the Cube. Thank you. You're with 451, an analyst firm. You're on the ground. Uh, you're out there. Um, Getting the signal and noise separated for yourself, mm -hmm. you're to report that to your um, some your customers and your subscribers and your yeah. user base. Mm -hmm. um, so you're getting pitched a lot of SAP, you know, yeah. rhetoric. They're feeding <laughs> you the plate of of, of PR mm -hmm. and, and rhetoric, and you're yeah. drinking the Kool Aid. Absolutely. Um, so tell us, yeah. one, what what mm -hmm. are they feeding you? What's the big message for SAP? Mm -hmm. And then let's break down kind of the reality around mobile because mobile is their key investment area. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Obviously in memory mm -hmm. and cloud with success factors kind of all powering that. But at the end of the yeah. day, HTML5 analytics and all that in memory stuff powers essentially a mobile workforce. Definitely, definitely. So tell yeah. us what's going on. Absolutely, yeah. So there, I mean, there was a um, uh, their acquisition of Sybase a couple years ago for $6 billion. You're, you're really kind of starting to see that come together very well. Um, you know, they have um, all the pieces that you really need within mobile. Um, that are being offered by a number of different companies, but what SAP is trying to do is is bring that together as one story for the enterprise, so that you're you're basically managing the devices, you're managing the applications, and then you're providing uh, analytics. And I think what you know the the pillars that they're talking about here are, you know include mobility, but they also include uh, HANA. And so the 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 idea here is kind of go beyond what the initial pain point is in the enterprise, which is you know locking down email, locking down those you know employee liable devices. And now providing uh, an additional level of ROI with uh, with apps, and I think that um, SAP is is rushing along with other a lot of other companies to provide these applications, to provide that insight, and essentially provide the necessary data for you as an employee to make a decision. Just looking at your smartphone, or if you have more time at a tablet, and maybe uh, manipulate that data, but all in a secure way, and that can be managed regardless of uh, whether or not they own the device. So, no doubt, we've been talking on theCUBE, uh, Dave Vellante and myself, mm -hmm. as well as talking to Schnabe and McDermott and mm -hmm. all the top brass uh, at, at, the, at all the times we had with one-on-one -on -one with them. Mm -hmm. um, the messaging is good. I mean, mm -hmm. I've got to say, SAP is impressive as a company. They're saying all the right things, yep. at least from my perspective. Mm -hmm. In memory, totally aligns with the mega trends around infrastructure, mm -hmm. from flash, SSDs, and all the innovations around Fusion, solid state, mm -hmm. and in the violin memory system, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and with disk, as they yeah. say, um, they have uh, mobile, which is mm -hmm. a no-brainer. Everyone's going to have a yeah, mobile yeah, yeah. device yeah. and have a companion desktop and a TV. Mm -hmm. All yeah. that stuff's happening. Yeah. Kind of, You don't have to be device a rocket scientist yeah. To, yeah. to figure that out. Yeah. Um, bring your own device to work. That's the consumerization of IT. Mm -hmm. That's happening with business. So they have also the cloud in there as well. So that's really good messaging. And mm -hmm. yet, no word of big data. Mm -hmm. Hold on the conversation, but okay. uh, mobility is really a good strategy. What are you seeing relative to the uptake on this strategy? Mm -hmm. Analytics we're hearing from some people, yep. fantastic. Mm -hmm. However, there's a big gap between the business object guys and yeah. the analytics guys mm -hmm. because the app guys are saying, hey, I can do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And the business object guys are like, hey, how do you integrate that into your ERP system? Yeah. Small example, but yep. you see there's some things that have to get done. What's your take yeah. on that? Yeah, I, I think that, um, you know, the applications are really kind of where it, it's going to, you know, uh, the message meets the road. I mean, there you have um, companies that are they're start they're getting their hands around uh, this influx and invasion of, of BYOD devices, and now they're trying to figure out um, you know, how. Okay, I'm building an app. I want to build an app. I want to have a presence on these devices, whether it's pointing towards their customers or pointing uh, internally or to partners. But then getting that application out to the specific users, that's going to be the next key. And so you're seeing um, at definitely SAP there uh, with Sybase and also with their, their previous products that SAP was offering, the ability to push uh, the proper application to the proper employee, to the proper device. And I think what, you know, 
what's going to happen is a lot of that is is out of the box uh, applications. But the next 18 months, you're going to start to see more and more companies wanting to use tools like the Unwired platform to build specific applications for their employees for a specific business process. So we have a couple yeah. different trends when I want to get your opinion on. Sure. One is the, a the application lifecycle management, right? Mm -hmm. That's, you get the app store out there, they got, they're pushing. Yeah. Um, but also, um, from a, at a customer environment, mm -hmm. um, people really don't know how to put their arms around it, around mobile. Mm -hmm. What KPIs are you seeing out there or ROI models mm -hmm. to justify these kinds of deployments? Because yeah. you know, for a big company to go down this kind of SOA route or mm -hmm. application you know, portfolio or app store now, yeah, yeah, it's called, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, catalog, app store, mm -hmm. same thing. But it's a good business model. It's, yep. it's the right direction. Yeah. What are the challenges there? I mean, what, how do you put an ROI model together? How do you justify it? And then how does that affect the actual porting of these apps? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's hard to put a specific ROI number on, on mobile. I think what you find is that as you are uh, looking to compete in a market, um, kind of can go back to will, will mobile change my business model? Uh, yes. Will mobile make a loan make me more competitive? No. Um, what you need to do is align both your, your business model and the use of new technology like mobile to make sure that um, you know, you're getting the tools to the employees that, that need them. And I think what uh, we find is that there are examples where it's not a specific ROI that, that's directly tied to the device. It's, it's tied to other things. So an example was uh, American Airlines. They have been a strong adopter of tablets uh, to be used by their pilots in the cockpits of planes. And what they found was it wasn't, uh, you know, there were definitely time savings, um, definitely some backs that were spared by not having to lug those uh, those uh, huge, uh, you see the pilots kind of going through the airport and they have that large case with them. Those are all the documents they need. So the bigger the plane, the bigger the, the case. And uh, what they have found by going to tablets that they have saved um, a fair amount of money in fueling just because they're not carrying 20 or 30 pounds times two for every single plane. And so there are other ROIs other than, you know, what's the specific and also sale. also navigation maps, like for example, you have some online yeah. around, yep. Yep. you know, latest conditions through, through the air. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So let's talk about customer mm -hmm. requirements. I mean, what are you hearing on the streets relative mm -hmm. to the reality of the SAP message and mm -hmm. how it's translating in market? Mm -hmm. um, is it translating well? Are customers aligning with it. Yeah. You know, obviously in some verticals like utilities, mobile mm -hmm. is critical, right? Yep. Oil yep. and gas, mobile utilities, yeah. everyone's mm -hmm. on the road, key yeah. aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, outside of those verticals, or even inside those verticals, what, what's the mm -hmm. challenges and what is the, the barrier to adoption? Mm -hmm. Because if mobile's a no-brainer, yeah. what's the inhibitor to that? Yeah. Well, I think it's it's almost a question of you know when do you jump in? Everything is changing so fast right now that um, if you jump in now, um, will, and you bring that uh, tool on board, how quickly you know, will you be up and running and how quickly will that be out of date? So I, I think what uh, needs to happen is that uh, companies need to have kind of like a, a you know, do a small trial, um, understand you know, what you wear and when you need it, and then roll that out, but be ready to, to update that as quickly as you can. Um, because there's going to be new devices coming out, there's going to be a need to quickly update those applications that you push out to those devices, and then there's going to be a whole uh, delivery model where you may move from native to HTML5, and in that way, um, you don't have to go through a number of different steps like uh, approval through uh, a third-party app store if that's the way you decide to do the application. So, so I think what SAP is doing here is, is, is trying to bring a, you know, a a group of products together that really address all the pain points around uh, mobile that enterprises have. Yeah. Let me ask you a question yeah. because a lot of people don't know this, but Sybase operates one serious mobile operation. Yeah. So, what do you know about that? You follow that at all? You you're talking about Sybase 365, or you're talking about Faria and S SUP, or um, I don't know the actual yeah. okay. names. Yep. Um, all I know is, is that they're running billions of transactions on yep. systems with SMS. Yeah, Sybase 365, yeah, 365. Yep. Okay, yep. I don't know the yep. name yep. of it. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. That's massive yeah. scale. So, yeah. you know, I actually didn't know that yeah. uh, in detail until mm. yesterday. Mm. Um, a lot of core competency that they brought to SAP. Yeah. Yeah. How's that translating internally mm. within SAP? I, I think, um, you know, where I see that going is that you have um, a tool that can be used by SAP customers and partners to provide a, a, a messaging platform to their customers' mobile devices. So, I mean, you, you have a competency of, of, you know, switching and connecting, you know, say, two or more carriers' uh, SMS networks. 
Um, if you can then take that knowledge, and, and I think SCP is doing that with Sybase, uh, to um, make that a tool to, to be customer facing, to push out alerts, to push out notifications, um, and you know, I think what you talk about the peering relationship that they have. Yeah, so obviously Verizon's yep. got all peering with yep. them, yep. so they have their peer back. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in essence, it's transparent to the user. Mm -hmm. The customer could have full end-to-end -end security mm -hmm. on a mobile device. Yep. That's yeah. a possibility, yep. right? Yeah. Def yeah. I mean, I mean, that's pretty powerful. Definitely. Yeah. I, I think that um, you know, the in in IT, there's a lot of uh, chaos uh, because uh, you know. This is something that IT thought you know thought they had locked down. I thought you know it met email, mobile email was 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 done. It was okay. Uh, but but yeah, the yes, time, absolutely. Right? I mean, and and you know at every um, Fortune 1000 company had a had a bez in place. Um, everybody was, seemed to be pretty happy with their Blackberries. But then with the launch of uh, devices like iPhone, others powered by Android, um, that really kind of changed things around. And then now it's been become much more of an app battle. And that's where uh, the chaos is coming. So, do I build the app? Do I buy the app? How do I get it to my employee? Um, how often do I update it? How much am I going to have to actually pay to to build this application and deploy it? And they had the phone it? phone um, uh, gap yep, accelerator yep, yep. deals. Absolutely. Um, yeah. They have the platform with the yeah. Sybase 360 yeah. and other things. Mm. The question that I want to ask you mm. is: the expectation is kind of low, so I'm not mm. going to trash them for this, mm. but. Oh, the I mean, one, the ones that are off. Yeah, I mean they're okay. Yeah, I'm not yeah. falling out of my chair. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, yeah. Of IT, I'm yeah. not like, yeah. hey, God, I gotta have that. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that you know these are are apps that appeal to a large audience. I think it, they're almost uh, kind of um, bookmarks for, you know, here's what's possible, here's what we can provide, but then it leaves a, a large opening for SAP partners. Um, and even uh, those that are not current SAP partners, that are uh, App Accelerator developers, or uh, PhoneGap, or uh, Sencha, or um, you know, Cyclo was was acquired Sencha, as well. I like uh, yep, yep, yep. So, so there you have um, an opportunity for developers to step in and tweak uh, these out of the box applications or replace them, um, and and that's a good thing. What do you uh, think so that yeah. SAP needs to do to attract those kinds of developers? Mm -hmm. Because Developers care about distribution and monetization. Yep, yep. If there's not a lot of trash in the app store mm -hmm. and there's no distribution, I can't get paid. Yep. Yeah. I, I mean, they I juice the ecosystem. They lay out some, you know, uh, some some cash. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. seed. I mean, it's called yeah. seed financing. I yep. know. Yep. Uh, they got a um, app accelerator with Hana. Mm -hmm. They've got a $180 million app Hana fund. Yep. Um, I'll say it's three ventures. It's yep. a separate organization. They're writing mm -hmm. checks for the ventures as well. Yep. Are they talking about? Are you mm -hmm. seeing any discussion around? Yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't heard that. I, I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, but I, I think that there is a lot of emphasis on mobile development. I think a lot of it's on the consumer side. But when you talk about uh, money and return for. Um, you know, who is really going to be willing to pay for a mobile application, and that's going to be the enterprise. So I think um, you know, SAP offers their their global app store, which it, it covers um, desktop and mobile right now. Um, I you may see, you know I expect them to go into a uh, a private corporate facing app store, and that's where um, you know you'll get a more rich experience as an enterprise user in in a in a in an app store for mobile. Right now, you see. Um, it's very hard for developers to engage with their customers through an app store, through, say, um, Apple's App Store or Google Play um, or any of the other app, app, app stores because there are um, you know, there, there, there are barriers in place to kind of protect the users, which is a good thing. But if it takes you two weeks to change the storefront, your digital storefront, that's a, that's a no-go for a, an app that costs $100 per user. Okay, we're here at Chris Hazelton, a 451 Group and Analyst, covers mobile, mobile enterprise, um, covers uh, SAP like a blanket. Uh, <laughs> great uh, conversation, really appreciate it. Final question, and mm -hmm. then uh, we'll end the segment is, mm -hmm. what are you expecting to, to, to follow this next year, between now mm -hmm. and next year? Uh, one, what are you going to be following, what do you expect to see? Yeah. Um, I, I think that uh, the, 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 again, I've kind of probably hit on this a little too much, but it's really the, the battle of the app, um, and I'm expecting to see um, a lot more interest uh, by uh, corporate uh, 
to, to, to tweak and build these apps. So and and you know buy some of the out of the box apps that you, you know you're not you're not so hot on, but uh, definitely they'll fit the need in the short term. Later on, you'll see uh, a lot more developers focus on the enterprise and build the necessary apps that do that will get you excited and will get the enterprise excited. Okay, Chris, thanks so much for your commentary. We'll be right back. This is the Cube. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. Mm -hmm.